They have to be exactly the same to do the division property. Um, otherwise, you actually just need a pen to write the notes. You actually, yeah, if you write the notes on somebody's wrist, they, it'll wash off. So she, she probably wants to have that for, for a class to study so she can do her homework. Um, you, guys, you guys can wait. We'll have some time later. There'll be enough time. But Lauren, you probably want to have your hand available so you can write. Oh, well, Christian, you should give it back to her. All right, so in this case, again, the book, the, your homework is being very nice to you. It's already factored, right? So we don't need to worry about factoring. But however, you might have a problem where you'd have to factor it first. Um, but this is already factored, so we see. Is there any removable discontinuities? No, nope, nothing's removable. So therefore, we know that our discontinuities are going to be non-removable, and therefore, they're going to be asymptotes. Because if they're removable, they would be holes. So to find the vertical asymptotes, very simple. All we do is set our denominator equal to 0. And fortunately for us, we, st we studied quadratics. So remember, when you have a factor, two factors um, set equal to 0, we can apply the zero product property to solve. And using some algebra, I have two asymptotes at 3 and negative 4 fifths. You don't have to graph it, but visually, if you want to just kind of understand what that would look like, something like that. All right, we're not going to graph it. It's not asking us to graph it. But you guys know there's two asymptotes there, right? Correct? Um, and that's all they're really asking us to do is to find the asymptotes. So those are your two asymptotes. I, that's, it's, um, there's a lot of different ways we could do the graphs um, in this one. I'd have to base, we would find the vertical asymptotes, then we find the horizontal asymptotes, and then what we would do is if you're asked to graph and you don't have a graphing calculator, what's the best and easiest way to do, make a graph? Uh, what? Table. Create a table. So what I would do is I would find the horizontal asymptote, and then what, what I usually choose, I'll explain that, we haven't taught it yet. Then what I would do is choose two points to the left of the asymptote, two points to the right of each asymptote, plug those values in for x and find y. And what you'll do is you'll see that there's a, um, a graph that I show. But that's all you guys had to do for here, was just find the asymptotes. Um, and again, what I 